Hey guys, welcome back. This is Mike Hermes at MH Tutorials, and today I'm going to do another short tutorial in a series of short tutorials that are all about uh, functions and tools in Maya that are not commonly used. Just to illustrate what they're for, how you can use them, and just you know to uh, get a better general understanding of what's going on in Maya. Okay. So today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to demonstrate the make live function in Maya. Okay. So to illustrate that, I'm going to set up a quick scene. So I'm going to create a ground plane. Pull that out. Create a cube. Pull that out. And create a sphere. Hit W and pull it up. Oop. I'll just hit 5 for shaded mode. And pull that up. Okay. Now, if I have a scene like this, right, and for whatever reason I want to create a CV curve tool that is following these objects, right, I have to look at it from different angles and so forth, okay. So first I'm going to do this without the Make Live tool, okay. So I'm going to go to my top view, and again I'll hit 5 just for shaded mode. My cube's over here. I'm going to go to Create, CV Curve Tool, and I'm just going to click over that cube. There's my square down here. Just something like that. Okay? And I hit enter. Now if I go to my perspective view, I can pull up that curve and you can see that it's a completely flat surface. It's a flat line, totally. Okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to do that again, but then we're going to use the Make Live tool. So I'm going to select this, get rid of it, now there is one restriction if you're using this tool. You can only use the Make Live tool on one object. Now these are obviously three different objects. So to illustrate this, I have to click all three, go to Mesh and Combine, and I can undo that later, but just for now it's one clickable object, like so. I'm going to go to Modify, so make sure you got it selected, and hit Make Live. All right. So now, from my top view, I'm going to go to Create, see the Curve Tool, and we're going to try that again. So I'm going to click over this sphere here, and my cube's down here, and I'll just go over that a couple of times, something like that, and hit Enter. Okay? So now, if I zoom in on my curve, you can already see that the line's going up. So if I select it and I pull that up, suddenly there's a lot of dimension going on here, okay, which is pretty neat. So if you want to, let's say, create a curved rope, something like that, you can use this. Now at the same time, if I pull this back down, you can see that it's not going straight up over the cube and straight down because when you create a CV curve tool and I make one point there, I want a point there, it's going to curve between these two. That's the reason for that, okay? But nevertheless, it's still a pretty neat trick and uh, hopefully it's helpful for you guys. So thanks for watching. See you guys next time.